so I think it's a bootleg open. Well, if I was a realtor, I would only rep the houses on the beach. Oh, look, it's Merrill. It's Merrill. So this place is for lease, right? For lease. Okay. We're gonna go check it out. It's right down the street. that I would uh, get lost in that house eventually, and no one well, would find me. Well, just think of your poor guests. They'd be here for <laughs> three months before I think you found out they'd stay. There's still guests back there from uh, a few uh, few months ago. I'm Tony Mark, and uh, you're at my listing on Broad Beach Road at 30860 Broad Beach. So one of the best estate properties on Broad Beach Road that will lease, so this one's just for lease, mm -hmm. uh, annual for 70000 a month and summer months at 140000 Okay. It's a triple lot, so about 120 feet of frontage, which gives wow. you the space to have the tennis court, pool, yeah. um, over 8,000 square feet of house. I'm pretty sure I would get lost eventually. Not I, my, not my boy, uh, I get lost too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And where, where can people go to find out more about the house? Um, you can look for us at the Mark and Grether Group mm -hmm. um, dot com. Okay. Or the property address 30860 com is the video. Great. Very cool. And, uh, place. Thank you. Very cool. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Okay. This house number three. Uh, almost uh, probably the biggest one. Definitely the biggest one. Yeah. Had about six, seven ba uh, bedrooms. It had a bunch of bedrooms and they were all very good size. Yeah. 
I figure you could probably uh, have a different day of the week. You could sleep in a different bedroom. You could. No. Or you could invite over guests and discover a week later that they hadn't left. <laughs> Point Doom area, so known to some of you as Point Dumb. Um, but or Dumets. Dumets, yeah. if you are an original settler of Malibu. Yeah, that could be a sports team. I don't know. But we're driving uh, in the back roads. And Paul is not telling me where we're going, what we're going to see. It's a complete surprise. We're on our way to Hawaii. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this ahead? Why, well, I think it's a Hawaiian getaway. Wow. This is working for me. Malibu Hawaiian luxury pad. I think you guys are gonna like this. Look at this intro. Huh? Looks like Hawaii. Feels like Hawaii. Even smells like Hawaii. Minus the volcano, of course. That's my legal first name. Shall I, shall I actually say Fireball? Uh, you can say, hey you. My wife says that to me and I respond. Oh, come on. Um, all right, give me your full name. Shall I, shall I say my name and all that? Yeah, you can say it right now because we're filming. Are we? Okay, hi, it's James Respondek. I'm with Sotheby's. <laughs> with Sotheby's, and that's where people can go to see more about this house. Yes, okay. yes. Or you can look it up online. You just write in the word Zumarez, Z-U-M-I-R-E-Z -E mm -hmm. dot video. Is the house inspired more Bali or Polynesian, or how would you describe it? Okay, the initial inspiration was more Hawaiian, mm -hmm. although I love all the South Pacific. I've been to Bali, Tahiti, yeah. to the Samoas. I've been What's all your favorite? over the place. I love Hawaii. We really wanted to embrace a kind of a Hawaiian architecture here. Mm -hmm. We used a Hawaiian architect, Kalani Jensen. Okay. Also wanted to make this a greenhouse, or use a lot of green building technology. So That's we, the solar cells. We bought the property in 05. It took four years, two, two years in planning and permits, two years in construction. It's beautiful. It's 5,000 square feet, roughly. Lots of big overhangs and lanais and decks. It's four bedrooms, plus two offices and um, just a wonderful lifestyle here. One of the really cool things is that we have the Zumeras access to Point Dune. Oh, great. It's called Riviera One. And what's unique about that is that the homeowners on this street, there's only about 50 of them, they all own the, the beach lot at the end of the street, which enables us to have a beach key to drive down to a parking lot on this, on this beach lot. And then there's just 10 or 15 steps to the, one of the most beautiful your, your own private beach, you're sharing it with your, with your buddies. It's a private beach access. Yeah. It's on one acre, 
and uh, has a pool. Spectacular. And it's just a fabulous, fabulous, awesome. Man. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Those were some nice pads, Paul. Well, we are doing the best we can for your audience. Uh, oh, they appreciate that. Don't you guys appreciate that? Paul's the man. You know, if you want a house, I don't care if it's on the south side of Chicago or something. Call him anyway. He's got connections. Uh, but if it happens to be in Malibu, he's so the man. So much the better. And where can they go, Paul? To see you in all your glory. Uh, in all my glory, nowhere. But if you'd like to see me dressed like this, you can always come by my office at 23676 Malibu Road. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to my website, which is it's MalibuRE.com. Yeah, if he's not there, he's probably streaking. But that's another conversation. That was fun, Paul. Yes, that, it that, was. That was it really was enjoyable. exceptionally fun. Um, and and as, as nice as your car is, yes. and as fast, and yes. just quick, like lightning, it's not what I'm driving, buddy. Well, I think what you're driving is something that's so new, yeah. it still has distributor plates on it. Actually, or are those maker? I think DST is yes, distributor. distributor. Uh, Hyundai Ionic, buddy. It's electric, hybrid, blah, blah, blah. I'm and it's right it. there. Not looking good. Yes, had a superb, superb time. I think I spit a little. Sorry about that. Superb time with Paul and, and with the realtors. I, I want to thank uh, all the realtors that I met. It's so great to meet you guys and hang out. And everybody's so passionate about, about working together and, and kind of this one big unified thingamajig. Everything just kind of works smoothly and, and you know they want everybody to succeed. There's competition. There's there's people that you know want to do really well. But these guys seem to understand that if they work together, then everybody benefits. And I like that. I like that. It's so cool. I thank you, Paul, for hanging out with me, uh, allowing me to tag along, seeing some of these cool pads. As cool as they are, as awesome as they are, and as expensive as they are, they're not the fireball pad. Just saying, just saying, this place is cool. I love my pad. I love it. Also wanted to say thank you, big thank you, to those of you that have purchased my latest book, the um, Mustang Coloring Book. Hold on. This is the Mustang Coloring Book. It came out not too long ago. It's chock full of cool Mustang illustrations, but there's one thing I wanted to show you guys. A, a Mustang maze. Check that out, huh? Huh? You know you want to do it. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you to, to everybody that has purchased the book so far. There's a lot of you. It's selling uh, probably better than any book that I've done thus far. And I do have an idea. I think I know the book that I want to do next. I said that I wanted, you know, I was considering the Challenger, the Corvette, and the Jeep. But the, the issue with that is that, you know, the whole thing with copyright and licensing and all that kind of stuff. So I decided that the, the best book, I, I'm going to do all those, by the way. I'm going to do every every cart on the planet. I mean, ultimately, I'm going to have over 100 books. The next book, I think the next Next book is going to be an off-road book and that that's going to focus on uh, trucks and jeeps and anything that can go off-road anything that is dirty because I like dirt you know dirt is a good thing just like it and it's in contrast to this uh, it's something a little bit different but it's gonna be cool we're gonna be starting uh, with what I call the jamper I'm not gonna tell you what it is I'm just I'm just telling you that term I just made it up it's gonna be cool the jamper remember that right here jamper Okay, quick side note, uh, what's coming next is the Vander Hall going tomorrow to pick up that car. Can't wait. It's going to Wheels and Waves. We also have uh, GM bringing out the Hot Wheels Camaro. Super stoked about that. That's going to be super exciting. And I want to thank everybody in advance. I just keep the gratitude rolling because that's that's just all there is in this life. It's just to be thankful for every single thing that happens. And I'm very thankful to you guys for coming out to Wheels and Waves, even though we haven't come out to it yet. I just love seeing all the cars peppered out throughout the uh, parking lot, all the different colors. It's going to be spectacular. And I will have this book with me if you want one. As far as cars coming, we have the Vanderhall. We have an amazing Jeep that's coming from the uh, the Murphy Museum. I also have the 38 Ford that I'm going to be taking to a Ford show. You guys have seen that car. Then we got the Fisker. This show just gets better and better. We cover new cars. We cover classic cars. We cover old cars. We cover dirty cars. We cover clean cars. I don't really care if it's got four wheels. Boom, I'm into it. Coming up this week, we're gonna go see a premiere, an exclusive premiere of the movie Solo, and I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me. <laughs> yeah, cause I can. Gonna be fun, we're gonna have a great time. Thanks for watching today, and tomorrow, I'm gonna introduce you to someone really cool, someone who drives a Jeep Wrangler. It's gonna be awesome, gonna love it. Peace out, people. Keep the peace rolling. <laughs>